Right, Shalom, I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm doing a quick response video to the, or based on an interview that was uh, taking place. The guy that was being interviewed was Charleston White. He was asked. He was asked, uh, "What do he think about? Basically, what do he think about the Hebrew Israelites? What do he think about the um, the IUIC, the Hebrew or the Hebrews at the Barge Clay Museum? I think it's called the Barge Clay Museum, where the Nets uh, had a basketball game and they were supposed to be out there." Talking about IUIC, you know, but I believe in the interview he may have said Hebrew. I don't remember um, exactly how he put it, but they were uh, in showing supposedly out there and marching to show support to Kyrie Irving. Okay, and one of his many uh, statements was, you know, concerning this Israelite us, uh, the, the us, the Israelites. Meaning the ones of us that are out teaching, teaching, bringing out the scriptures. And you know, this, uh, all the Israelites are not out marching. By the way, we don't do the marching thing over here. Okay? That's something that IUIC is doing. Every Israelite group is not out marching. That's, the scriptures don't command us to go out and march. By the way, just putting that out there. Okay? But he had made a one of the many statements he made was, show me, you got to show me God. I don't want to hear about God. Show me God. And he said, my mama showed me God. And I don't know exactly what he meant by that. Uh, I don't know if he meant Christianity or that she was, that, that, you know, she took care of him and she provided for him. Or exactly what he what he meant one you know one or the other I believe it's one or the other. All right. But um, yeah, and I I was going to I guess I can also address the statement about um. You no, know, I'll just stick to that. I'll just stick to that. He said, you know, I don't want to. You, I don't want you. You gonna have to show me God. You know, I don't want to hear about God. Show me God. Something along them lines. He may have said it different, but pretty much that's what he was. That's what he said. Okay. Now the first line, the order of business. In order for you to know the Heavenly Father, you got to hear about Him. All right. In other, in order for you to know the Most High, and not you. You can't. Another thing, you can't just go straight to the Most High. You got to go through His Son. All right, and the sun goes to the most high. Yahweh Shai goes to the most high. We go to Yahweh Shai. So how about that? So our access to the heavenly Father through His Son. Um, in order for us to be shown them, we have to hear about them. That's the first order of business. Let's read about it. Romans ten and seventeen. It says, "So then, faith cometh by hearing." Faith, another word for faith is belief. Belief in what? Everything that's written in the scriptures. Believing in the creator. Believing in his only begotten son. Okay? Believing in every word written in the, in the scriptures. It says, so then faith cometh by hearing. And hearing, what are we hearing? By the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? So you gotta hear about them, and then when you hear about, in a uh, hear about them, what are you hearing? The preaching. You're hearing about the, the prophecies, hearing about what's to come, how to prepare yourself, uh, uh, clean yourself up to get ready to meet the Lord, to come and save us out of these horrible conditions. Because we're like the scripture saying, Baruch. I believe it's Baruch three and eight. We're yet this day in our captivity. We're yet this day in our captivity. We're not free. We're, we're indentured servants. We're contractual slaves. And it's a great example of that is being shown through this situation with Kyrie Irving. 
and uh, Kanye shows you that we're not free. Shows you that we're contractual slaves and, uh, in a sense, indentured servants. All right? So once you hear the breakdown of these scriptures, because that's what you're hearing. You're hearing the scriptures being broken down. All right? Didn't Yahweh Shai say in, in the book of St. John, the 21st chapter, to Peter? He asked, well, he asked him a question, same question three times. Do you love me? And each time Peter replied, you know, I love you. And he said, if you love me, feed my lambs. What was he talking about? Go out and give the lambs being the Israelites, the lost sheep of Israel. Okay. Feed, give them soul food, food for their spirit through the scriptures, through the wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. And when we get this, it's going to uh, teach us about the Heavenly Father, meaning when we get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, in the process of that is teaching us about the Heavenly Father, what he's all about, what he's going to bring to pass, what his son is about. And they're on the same page. Okay? Yahweh Shai is one with his father. They're in, in one in agreement. Okay? So you are getting to know somebody. When you get to, uh, uh, well, he says, show me him. I know, and I know what he meant uh, by that. He meant action. Like, I need to see something. Well, the main thing I want to uh, bring out in this video was you are seeing the most high, but you got to have, the most high got to open up your mind uh, to see, to see him, to so, so that he can be shown to you. The Most High is showing himself by making good on his, on, his, on his prophecies. Meaning he said things. He sent the prophets out and told him what to tell the, the, uh, not only the children of Israel but the nations. Okay, what's going to come to pass? And they, are, they have come to pass and they're still coming to pass. And one major thing that's came to pass come to pass is the Israelites waking up all over the world that's the most high showing uh though that's that's uh the most high showing himself through the process of using his men the prophets the prophets are showing the world the most high by breaking down these scriptures by going out uh what is the word can't think of this word I want to use. Uh, I'll just put it like this. Going out with great conviction, teaching, every week, every day. When have you known a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, okay, to what a true Israelite according to the Bible, to, to be so dedicated to something? You would have to give that credit to the Heavenly Father. There is no way that these people could be doing this without the most high, without the power of a high power. Okay? To go out for years, countless years, and teach on a Friday or a Saturday. That's just the days that we norm, uh, normally choose. But any day, and put up videos on a regular basis. And with men that have changed their lives. We don't live like we used to live. Okay? We really are uh, uh, rehearsing the law, statutes, and commandments that are written of in the scriptures to the best of our ability. Okay? The credit doesn't go to us. This is The credit goes to the Heavenly Father and His Son, and this is the Most High showing Himself. Look, I'm showing you I'm, I, I'm real, I exist. Through uh, and I'm showing you that this book, you're gonna have to get into this book. You have to hear about this book, get the understanding of it, because it contained in this book, it talks about what the very the very act that we're doing, which is going out and teaching. When you read Ezekiel the 37th chapter, 
the dry bones in the in the valley, very dry bones, that got the skin and the sinews and all of that, and then a breath of life was breathed into them, and then stood up a great army. Then it said, talk about the two sticks, right? Being joined together, right? The stick, uh, the uh, Judah and his companions on one stick, and Ephraim and his companions on the other stick. Okay, which Judah and his companions is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Ephraim and his companions is the other tribes, from Ephraim all the way to the tribe of Issachar. All of the rest of the tribes. Join them together, meaning put them on one plank or one sign. Okay? And let our people know that we're one. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans are we're family. We're brothers. We're not different a different race of people. Okay? And you're seeing that happening. Now that was written of in the scriptures. You can you yeah, uh the scriptures say that uh let's get it real quick. This is Psalms uh, 68 and 10 it says I'm sorry 11 Psalm 68 and 11 it says the Lord gave the word great was the company of those that published it so yeah men wrote the scriptures but it was by the uh, inspiration of the heavenly father okay they were moved through the spirit to put these words down most of it was, uh, a lot of it is concerning the prophecies the Most High sent the angels to show, uh, to tell them what to write, what was going to come to pass, okay? So, that's how the Most High is showing himself. He's showing himself by showing the power, his power on the planet Earth. And one major uh, way he's showing his power is by waking up so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to the fact that they are the Israelites. And not only to not only to the fact that they're Israelites, but it's moving them to go out and teach and wake up other men, okay? Or do the work that's the most high uh, to wake up other men. Now we do the fishing, the most high give the uh, increase. We do the, 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 the spiritual cultivating, putting in the work, form the spiritual formers, the most high gives uh gives the increase. Okay? Yeah, and if you are spiritual and you know, and if you and you know what I don't I, I doubt if that guy had read the scriptures. You know, you want to talk about this, you know, show me God, where if you read the scriptures. You know, well, you could read one. I say this. Let me slow down. One could read the scriptures all day. If the Most High hadn't woken you up uh, or led you to the right man and woken you up to this truth, it, it wouldn't matter anyway. You had to be given a gift of faith. See, we're doing this by faith. We see that we uh, we are being shown the Most High. By all these men, once again, waking up across the four corners of the earth, proclaiming to be the Israelites. Nobody else on the earth has ever said we the Israelites. But the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. In these times that we've been living in. Since we've been living on this, on this planet earth. Uh, I'm going to stop right there. Lord willing, this video was edifying. Until the next one, I say Shalom.